Yo, what is going on? Stanny here from Down My Darts and welcome back to episode 11 of Path to Pro. This is the series where I'll be documenting and vlogging my journey moving from an amateur darts player to hopefully one day stepping on the Ali Paddy stage. As always, I want to start off by saying a massive thank you for the support on the recent videos and welcome back. This is the series that everyone's been waiting for. We're finally back. So we got a lot of announcements and new things coming up in this video. First things first, we've joined a team. We've joined a darts team and I'll be vlogging a lot of our league nights, which start up again in a few weeks. Got some pretty cool people on the team, none other than our local legend, Robin Byrne, who made her TV debut recently in the match here and pushed Bo Greaves all the way in their semi-final at the match play. Now on top of that, I've completely changed my throw. It's a night and day difference. My average has gone down, but I can keep at a consistent level for longer. The way I describe it, it's like relearning how to walk again, except in darts terms. So yes, initially you will be slower than you were before because your body's not used to it. But over time, this has given me the foundation to build a much higher average. And also this Sunday, I have my first big competition in Ireland, the Super Series event out in Mulhudders, which isn't too far from myself. That's gonna be an interesting one, some big names there. Listen, I'm just gonna take the experience. It doesn't matter if I win legs, if I don't, whatever. We're just gonna bring you guys along and yeah, what I told you in person darts would be here. I just need to work on my game, get to a position where I feel like, you know what, even if I'm not getting the results, everything else and every other aspect of the game is like a pro. It's something I can replicate for a long time. I couldn't even play darts for a long time without kind of getting like sore because of the way I threw. I was really forcing every dart into the board, jerking a lot. You would have seen and snatching a lot of darts, but looking at it now, you can see how smooth it is. I can play for hours and hours and hours. I don't get tired, even mentally, which is good. So without further ado, let's get back into the vlog. So one question I've been getting is what darts am I gonna be using? And I'm sticking with my Panama darts. V1s, version ones. Here they are, I think they're beautiful. These are a little bit worn. I have five or six pairs of these darts specifically. These are the these are the blue and pink version. Now, obviously most people got the black and red darts. I think I sold one or two sets of these. These are a little bit more expensive. So I think I have like four of these left. But yeah, I, I love these darts. You know, I'm literally just using a basic flight and a basic stem. Um, the reason being is, you know what, when I got delivery of these, because I was ha just because I was packing them and giving people so many, I was giving people two or three sets of flights and stems with them. And I started playing around with them myself and I found, you know what, I was enjoying them a little bit more than the condors, so I've stuck with them since. I am gonna get my own custom flights and stems soon. Again, the side-by-side -side comparison to the windmill navigators, not much of a difference, but I love how these taper in at the top a little bit more. You can probably see that. The length's a little bit longer. And the, if you've thrown these darts, none but good feedback so far. People are asking when's the version two out. I'm holding off until before the worlds. So that's not too long away, but yeah, I'm gonna release version two of these before the worlds. Let me know if you wanna be put on the pre-order list. I know that's months away. But I'm gonna do a big, big order. So if you're interested, just let me know. But these are the darts we're using. This is the current setup. Really simple. Standard point. I don't I don't mess around with the point. I keep it as it is. And yeah, I, I love the dart so far. So I don't think I'll be changing this style. Version two might change the grip a little bit, but yeah, good feedback on these so far. So that's what I'm sticking with. So I'm gonna do a practice session now and I just thought to myself, I didn't even want to share this and I still don't really know if I'm gonna include this in the video, but part of who I am, my whole journey has been very honest and transparent with things and just showing you guys every aspect of this. Now, obviously you guys would know that alcohol is a massive part of darts with most professional players, whether or not you knew this or not, would be drunk playing on the stage or at least a consistent level of tipsy enough alcohol in their blood to allow them to perform to a sufficient level. I think I would say at least 80% of the top 32 players in the world to drink when they play. Um, and obviously now you only don't have water on the sides. Um, but then when they go back in between the drink uh, break, they tend to tend to drink. Now I don't drink when I play, I never did. I've always played sober. But one thing I have experimented with in the past, and it doesn't really make sense because alcohol is a depressant in terms of its effect on our nervous system, is I've dabbled with the use of nicotine. Again, I am not promoting this in any way. I don't condone smoking in any way, nor am I smoking, but I just have to say this. And I said, listen, I I'll just include this because it's part of my practice and it will become a part of my practice from here on out, trying things in terms of focus. Now, nicotine obviously is a stimulant. It's a very mild stimulant, but I'm not talking about getting it from tobacco. I'm talking about just getting it from lozenges or gum. Uh, it's a nootropic I've played with for a long time. Nootropic means brain enhancing substance. It can help with memory and focus. And I do have diagnosed ADHD, so it can help from time to time. I'm gonna give it a go for this practice session. I'm gonna chime in with my, with my thoughts. It's been a while since I've used it. Um, you might think because it's a stimulant and it's a sport, you want to be calm, you might need the opposite. But I find it does calm me, particularly with someone with ADHD, you'll find when you 
use nicotine, it may help you um, enter a calm state quicker. Now again, not condoning the use of this by any means, don't listen to me, I'm not a medical professional, don't even try it and I won't even suggest, hey, maybe try it, particularly if you're the, under the age of 18, um, don't do this. This is something personal for me. Uh, a lot of people drink and, and smoke as they play, um, but I'm hardly gonna wanna talk about these things. I'll keep this in the video, we'll see how we get on. One milligram lozenge is all I take and see how it helps. Let's go. So that session went very well. Started off with some one to one and you know, I got up um, to 1.30 the quickest I have. And um, like first go, sometimes I'll find myself with the nine darts, missing doubles here and there. Just wasn't missing today. Everything was on tops, really just practicing tops at the moment and um, finishing everything. I didn't really record much. And I just said, listen, I'll play, I'll play a game. And my first two legs, I was down to double after 12 darts. And then I got a little bit excited and just kind of fell apart from there. But I'll show you here. First dart, first leg, uh, it was a 14 out leg, hit 180. Or sorry, hit 180 in my second leg, first leg, back to back 140s. Yeah, felt very good. Morning, folks. Just up now, a couple of hours to go until registration at the event. I've been suffering from a bit of dartitis the past week or two. I've changed on my throw and it's kind of led me to overthink. Like, not consciously, but obviously at the surface, under the surface, I'm kind of thinking a lot more. And it's broken the rhythm of my throw, so it could just be a timing thing, but it definitely feels like dart is sometimes I'm up there. And I genuinely cannot let go of the dart, so we'll see how that goes. Um, truthfully, earlier I was like, fuck it, I don't even want to go, man. I don't want to just get up there and then just not be able to throw the dart, but it's not that big of a deal, you know what I mean? Like, I think that's the biggest thing that helped me overcome all this is like, Grand. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, um, one thing I know it's definitely helping is I just swapped darts for the day back to the Cult um, O2s from Target that Connie sent me. We'll see how it goes. Gonna have a practice session now um, for about another 25 30 minutes. Just get the arm going and then we're gonna make our way to the venue. <laughs> Folks, what is up? It's been a while since I did a voiceover, so I decided to go with my actual darts. We got Joe Byrne in the first round. He is a bit of a legend. Robin was thrown beside me. It's Robin's dad. He's been around the scene a long time in, in Dublin. We managed to pick up the first leg, finishing on double five. I'm not too sure exactly what Sean managed to fill him with this, but the games were first to four. And the games went back and forth. The legs went back and forth to end up taking out a... 120 as well as a ton just to kind of stay with me in this game i was playing decently enough but things did start to go a little bit downhill for myself and joe did manage to pull away and win 4-2 i'm really happy with the performance because you know joe's a very good player again it's my first kind of in-person event in dublin i have a lot more to to come here but just excited to get out and get playing i'm hoping to have a lot more in-person in-game footage for yourselves yeah I'm, I'm excited this is you know a tournament that will be on again in in, in two weeks I'm hoping also to, I won't be going to the, the Irish Darts Festival in, in Carlow, but what I will be going to is I'll be going to the Irish Open and the Killarney Darts Festival towards the end of the year. I'm also thinking of hosting my own event, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know if you come over to Dublin for Dynamite Darts Open. I might have it in the same venue, I'm not too sure yet, but here, just going through the legs, I think you should be able to see the board okay, I might zoom in a little bit post. It wasn't the best start to leg, 95 is okay, but then a 40, which is never great, it's hard to recover from that. Followed up by, I believe, an 81, which is like, okay, you know, I was averaging probably in the, the mid-60s in this game, which is okay when I'm, you know, playing, but normally when I switch, it ends up being a... A fat 19 I've been getting these days. I wasn't getting lucky. Sometimes when you're switching, you just always end up hitting that travel, but I wasn't. I got playing 19, left myself in 245, run 241 after 9. Already a bit of an advantage and sets himself up on a finish, leaving 160 after 12. Whereas, I don't know, I think when I got to this stage, when it was 2 all, and I really knew I needed to win the leg. It's just kind of then when it fell apart, particularly when I was on my throw, got a 58, I do believe it was, um, which doesn't leave me on a finish. So John has, uh, Joe even has six starts from here to to wrap this up. 
and um, make it 3 2. He finishes himself, leaves himself on a ton. And I do believe he takes us out. He took out a 120 as well. Some good scores to, to stay ahead from Joe. Um, again, players been in this for such a long time. So for myself, again, it was just nice to be up there and play. There was, I think, 10 boards on the day. So it was a lot of darts happening around. And yeah, I'm just excited or happy overall for the future. I'm glad that, to be honest with you, we got out, got the game in. And without further ado, let's get back to the video. Yo guys, what is up? So I'm home after a long day. We went shopping after the... You probably see my eyes, I look fucking wrecked. After the competition today, I'm actually gonna set the dartboard back up. And just have a little bit of a throw. Um, I played okay. So first game I was drawn against Robin Sled. Robin, who will be on my team now starting in October in the league. So what is our dad who I played today? Um, Joe's a bit of a legend in the Dublin scene. Been playing for donkey's years, probably longer than I'm alive. I'm sure he won't mind me saying. But I'm happy to get two legs on the board against a very good player who, as I said, has a lot of experience. Steve Lennon was also there today playing. Keen Barry was meant to be there. He didn't turn up in the end. But yes, yeah, Steve Lennon got knocked out in the semi-finals. That just shows you the standard. You know, we have a tour car player. Steve, I think, is ranked 50 something in the world and didn't even win today. That's how good the standard was. Um, some really good good legs there. So I was marking some players and we had a few 11 darters in there. Just some really good darts, you know. So overall, big thanks to Robin for organizing the event. Uh, first time meeting her today. Lovely, they're all lovely out there. Next Super Series event is in two weeks. I will be more than likely to be there if I'm not away. But other than that, um, there might be a few more competitions and stuff again, as I kind of always set forward with this. The goal was to start off GDL. I might move back to playing a bit more GDL now. I'm just busy. But yeah, I, I felt better today. You know, I'm having a bit of dark eyes, which I mentioned earlier at home. But when I got up there today, maybe it was just because I was kind of focusing on just letting go of the dart. Hit me a little bit, but wasn't too bad. Um, it was kind of unnoticeable to anyone, I think, watching, because I asked Shauna if she noticed that. You know, because sometimes I have to literally reset, so like, like leaning like this and the darts won't release, but she said it was okay today, she didn't notice it, so that's good. Arsenal won as well, somehow managed to win the Kennedy Shield, not that it really matters anyways. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll the board, have a little throw, and we'll leave there for, for this episode. I think this is episode 11, Path Pro, episode 12 will be out um, in a couple of weeks. Again, we're going to try and do one episode every three or four weeks, just to get a better update of where we're at with things. So this one, got another in-person competition, and whenever I have my next in-person competition, which will be in two weeks time, we'll have another vlog as well as any updates in the meantime. Think of all the other videos I'm uploading as kind of like my updates, like what I'm training, what I'm focusing on. And um, because they all kind of do link into Path Pro, I do appreciate the support in those other videos. I know a lot of people really like these videos, but uh, yeah, if I'm not necessarily having any competitions or matches in between, it doesn't feel too right just to post a lot of clips and be practicing constantly. I want to show you guys, you know, or at least, even if I can't get game footage, just just be able to tell you guys what's kind of happening behind the scenes. So I'll have an update of kind of like the schedule moving forward in the next video. It's a little bit more interesting now because we got some competitions coming up thick and fast. The biggest thing is I'm very interested in, in hosting the Dynamite Darts. The Dynamite Darts open or whatever we will kind of settle on the name. If you're interested in coming to that, it will be in Dublin. I'm thinking October time, let me know what you guys think, or I might have it for any of you guys coming over for the Darts Festival in Clarny or around that time for the Irish Open. I may have it around that, so it kind of coincides. Yeah, let me know if you might be interested in that. Get it going, hopefully. Get some cool sponsors, get some free stuff sent from Target, just have a really nice day out of it. So, give the crazy eyes, but we just wrapped up a practice session there. I want a beautiful way to wrap it up. After a long day, I had probably one of the best practice sessions I've ever had just there. Can't stress how good I played. I played like four games, so about 20 legs in rapid succession against computer. Average, first line average was up about 78 consistently. And yeah, hit like four 180s in that time, which is fantastic. I'm looking at them, they're beautiful as well. So top document that Shauna said, get on and record. I'm tired, I'm about to go to bed probably. But I said, you know what, record it. You nice to look back on. So yeah, just after the day I had today, I played well, but the couldn't play better, you know, and I knew there was more in the tank. So I said, I'll go home, throw some good darts and wrap it up today. So there you go.